Hello, my name is Debu Panda. I am going to give a quick demonstration of the SOA management capabilities of Oracle Management Cloud. I am going to use a typical web-based application as an example, where the end users come to the website to place their orders. And after the orders are placed, a SOA-based backend system based on Oracle SOA suite orchestrate between different internal and external components and then services to process the order. Today, I am going to focus on three key capabilities of Oracle Management Cloud. First, how you can gain complete visibility to your health and performance of your application by leveraging the unified platform capability of Oracle Management Cloud. Second, if there is a problem in your application, if there is a failure or performance issues, how you can use Oracle Management Cloud to isolate problems in your application. Finally, I am going to use the log linking capability of Oracle Management Cloud to diagnose, diagnose issues in your, in your business transactions. So let's get started. The first part of the demo, I'm going to demonstrate how you can gain complete visibility to the health and performance of your SOA based application. This is a custom dashboard that I have built using the Data Explorer and Dashboard Framework of Oracle Management Cloud that provides the complete visibility to the health and performance of my application. I can see the number of alerts, uh, the status of my managed entities that make up my application, uh, the, alert, the logs, uh, and also I have a an widget that shows the business metrics. I'm mining the logs uh, to derive the number of orders submitted in my application. Uh, and additionally, I have several business, uh, some application metrics and infrastructure metrics for my uh, application. Oracle Management Cloud also provides visibility to your application topology. As you can see here, the, this is a WebLogic server that make up my application. These are, uh, this is my SOA infrastructure. If you want to drill down to a specific uh, component, I can drill down to a specific component by going to the infrastructure monitoring page uh, that which provides me visibility to different performance metrics for my application server. So as you can see here, I got a complete visibility to my applications and my application infrastructure. Second, I'm going to do a demo of my second use case, how you can do rapid problem isolation for your SOA based application. I can go to application performance uh, monitoring that uh, provides visibility to uh, complete visibility to the application. So I have selected uh, my SOA order app. So as you can see here, I have visibility to my end users, where the users are coming from, what pages they are using. The, applica the application servers that make up my application and the server request. Let me drill down to the server request as some of my users are complaining that uh, the validate payment process backend system is, uh, is slow. As I did drill down to server request, I saw different server requests being invoked as a part of my application. 
and some of them are so our services um, Bepal services the OS, OSB uh, proxy service so as you can see here the validate payment service uh, uh, payment process service I want to drill down and see what is happening there uh, I can when I click there it shows me the details for my uh, for my uh, that specific uh, component and as you can see here this is the flow diagram of my uh, server request and as I mouse over to a specific node it shows me the actual component and their the actual time is being sp spent as you see here this is a swap apple server and there are 929 calls that is being made and this so Bepal server has also made an external call to a JCA service and and making some uh, SQL calls as it drill down on, uh, to the to the bottom here it shows me more in-depth view of what is happening how much is being time is being being spent in in each method call and if there are any errors uh, during that call Oracle Maven Cloud actually captures different instances or occurrences uh, of, uh, of the backend calls when I clicked on on the instances you, you saw here the, the list of different instances one thing to highlight is that uh, Oracle Memory Cloud actually captures the ECID or the context ID associated with that uh, specific instance so that helps you identify a specific uh, context ID if you want to go and look at the logs I can drill down and, and look at a specific instance but another thing I want to highlight is that Oracle Magnet Cloud allows you to go to the uh, logs of the backend infrastructure in context of the time and in context of the application to help you identify the problem uh, and correlate between logs and performance so what I can do here is that I can if I click into the log explorer it takes me uh, to uh, to the uh, the logs in context I can look at my logs and then, then see what kind of problem I might be running in in my applications even I can look at at the severity and look at what kind of severe errors are so if I'm focus on on the warning or error uh, I can just focus on on that specific error type category so this is a, a quick demo of how you can isolate problems from end user tier to the mid uh, to mid tier uh, SOA systems and look at the logs uh, for the systems and help you diagnose problem quickly so the next part of the demo I'm going to demo demonstrate is the business transaction analysis using logs of the SOA infrastructure in this demo I'm going to show you how you can link transactions across log sources and you can uh, link these logs uh, by a common attribute or a field like an order ID and once you link these transactions uh, you can identify anomalous transactions based on on the timing uh, of each step or each transactions and then finally I'm going to demonstrate the log clustering capability so with that let's go back to my application dashboard so as here I have a so uh, order trend uh, widget that shows uh, my different order some of the users are complaining that they are uh, intermittently the actual shipment email or notification or is not getting generated or some of them are getting it very very late so how do I uh, use the log linking capability to identify those kind of intermittent issues so as I opened uh, the log widget it, in, uh, it opened in a log explorer and I see 1.2 million log entries for the period I am looking at when you don't know a specific problem or order ID or execution context ID 
it is very very difficult to start searching the logs. It comes handy um, if you have additional tooling capability in log to associate different logs or group different logs by linking them by a specific ID, uh, order ID or context ID or username. So let me change uh, my visualization to link. And as soon as I change my visualization to link, it asks me which field I want to link by. So I am going to select my step name, which is a different process like a notify a user or so order a submit orders. All these things are logged in my application log and so as my order ID. So I'm going to link this by my step name and an order ID and I clicked. OK, so what Oracle Management Cloud did is that analyze all these uh, 1.2 million logs and then and categorize those by, uh, by by step name and order ID. So like for example here, my notify user for my order ID um, is taking 1.44 second and and I have uh, 74 logs in uh, in log entries for that specific uh, step and order ID uh, or linked event um, combination. So as you can see in the graph in my scatter plot, so there are different groups of, uh, of transactions. So here I have, these are the anomalous transaction which is taking a lot of time, 1.44 and 1.41 second or 44 second. So there are several transactions which is, are, are very, very slow. Uh, whereas the notify user is actually taking, uh, is very, very slow, is like typically it's, it's very, very fast. As you see here, most of my transaction take about 17.5 seconds, but I have some transactions that are taking uh, more than one minute. So these are the problems, uh, users are, are experiencing the problem. So it quickly helped me find out uh, specific transactions that might be having problem. And how, so I want to go to the next level and find out what is happening in, uh, in the specific order. So when I click on, on the 74 that shows me all my logs for that specific order ID and, and step combination. So I have, I see all the different uh, log entries and details of the log. What I'm gonna do is I can, I can read this log and uh, try to find out what the problem could be. I'm going to use uh, the machine learning capability called cluster to reduce this to a manageable set of patterns. So when I did a cluster, it reduced the 74 logs into 14 clusters and also identified one potential issue, which could be an outlier. So let me uh, click on one potential issue and it shows me a, a shipment order timed out um, after uh, three seconds. So that means I have, because my notifier user actually invokes a, an external component uh, and that is timing out. The shipment gateway is, is timing out, and that's the region. And 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 like the same thing is uh, getting invoked again and again. And for that region, some of the uh, some of my transactions are actually are very very slow. Or and some might be actually failing. Um, so this helped me quickly identify uh, that problem. With this, I'm going to summarize the three things we saw in this demo. First, we looked at the application and the application infrastructure and how Oracle Management Cloud provided a complete visibility to SOA-based application and infrastructure. Second, we looked at how Oracle Management Cloud quickly help me find problems in, in, the, in the actual applications by identifying where the time is in being spent and also how I can correlate that with logs. Finally, I looked at how Oracle Manor Cloud helped me trace business transaction by, by correlating or linking logs by 
common attributes such as order ID. Thank you for watching this demo.